Hello, and thank you for joining me. Welcome to Art Merit Badge. My goal for you is for you to have fun, to earn this merit badge, and to learn some new ideas or techniques that may prove helpful to you. To begin with, let's talk about what art is. Now, I have my own answers to these questions, and they come from years of creating art as well as consuming it enjoying it in art museums and the like and also reading about art history and technique and other people's thoughts on art but these answers i have they're mine and i'm very keen to learn what your answers are and to not influence you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to ask you in a bit to write down your answers to these questions and then we can compare afterwards right okay and let's keep in mind, there are no wrong answers as such, because these are open-ended questions. They're really about what the answer that works for you, right? They're good answers and inappropriate answers. Silly answers, if you will. Okay? So, uh, the requirement says, one, discuss the following leader counselor. What art is, what some of the different forms of art are, the importance of art to humankind, and what art means to you, and how art makes you feel. So the question that I'd like you to write down in your packet or on a piece of paper is first, what is art? And please list five forms of art. And then I'd like you to answer, what is the importance of art to humanity? And then finally, I'd like you to say, what does art mean to you? Have you ever experienced an emotion or had a moment of clarity from art? If yes, please describe at least one case. If not, why do you think that might be the case? So, please pause the video and I will see you on the other side, as it were. Welcome back, as it were. Art can be thought of as inspired craft. And for me, this is the most on point definition. As a woodworker, I can make a table that is well built and functional, but I can also make that piece of furniture so beautiful that it inspires, or a motif that tells a story, then that could be art. Likewise, photography, as typically used, records people and places, and while I would seek to frame the subject well, it is essentially a technical craft. Yet we see photos in art museums, and these photos do more than record. I can make a sketch of an object to communicate or a sketch map to help someone find a location, but this is not art. Yet, if I use the same skills to tell a story or to move people emotionally, it's art, isn't it? Art can be drawing, painting, sculpture, photography, furniture, woven, a building, a landscape, pottery, a light show, construction, food, flower arrangement, print, video, film, and many other things. Another definition of art is art is a mirror. Art can tell us a lot about ourselves as a creator or as a consumer, our culture, the past when it was created, or how we see the past, how a different culture sees itself, or what we expect or fear from the future. Art can also be defined as art as a hammer. Art can be used to shock, to offend, or to wake up the complacent. Art can allow or compel people to confront the uncomfortable. Art can ready people for the future shock, and conversely, it can be therapeutic. For myself, art meets my need to create. Currently, it's primarily through video and woodworking, but it's also included drawing and photography. Art helps me see, inspires me with awe, or simply brings me joy. I would also admit I find some art to be self-indulgent, and some works do not inspire me at all. That brings me to a thought I would call time is the great art filter. Now, if you watch British television here in the States, uh, it's all very good, isn't it? Yes, because of the Atlantic Ocean. It's filtered out all the junk TV. Likewise, if you were to go to our green and pleasant land and watch American TV for some reason while you were there, uh, the television you would see would be quite good, because once again, the Atlantic has filtered out the junk. Well, the same thing holds with time and art. 
friend of mine really enjoys classical art, and when he sees modern art, he scoffs at it, mocks at it. Uh, but he realized he was missing the point of it. And so he asked me to come explain modern art to him. And when I say modern art, I'm talking about the Bauhaus, uh, Roy, Charles and Ray Eames, sorry, um, Roy Lichtenstein, certainly, uh, the still movement and the like. So we went to Smithsonian and we were looking at Joseph Albers, Hamish the Square, and I said, okay, now watch this painting for a minute or two, maybe three, and see what happens. And the squares would disappear or change color because of the way the paint interacted. And I explained to him how Joseph Albers in these paintings used paint straight from the tube. And sometimes we even label the exact catalog number of the paint on the back that he had used. Um, and then we saw some paintings from Roy Lichtenstein and explained how he would take a comic book form and he would push it to show how it incorporated uh, classical art elements and all this. And he's getting really excited. He's understanding modern art. He's appreciating. This is great. And so we come across this piece and says, great, now explain this to me. Yeah, that's just junk. Time filters and modern art not postmodern, I'm thinking, but true, the modern movement. Um, 50 years, 70 at most as a filter, maybe a little more than that for the very early works. Um, so there's stuff that comes through that's much more recent that isn't all that good. But you know what? That's okay. Um, art meets various needs for different people at different times. And it's in a very real, a personal journey. And I hope that Art Merit Badge will be a very satisfying step on your trip journey through art. Thank you for joining me. Take care.